Greetings and salutations and welcome back to Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Oh, I thought I'd let the music play out uh, a little bit there this time since I think at least that I've at least somewhat improved the, uh, the audio situation here. Uh, do please let me know whether that is or is not so. Um, it seemed that uh, previously I was having an issue, I, I think I mentioned this in the last stream, um, previously I was having an issue in which um, essentially I was getting an echo. Uh, I was getting the game audio twice over. Uh, in the previous stream I solved that essentially by muting one, one of the, uh, the audio sources. And I think I may have sorted it out such that that's no longer required so that I now have the mic and the desktop audio separate. If there is an unfortunate echo in the uh, in the game audio, uh, please let me know so that I can try to do something about it. Um, I'm using OBS and it's, I, I will admit the, the handling of audio is a little obscure to me. Anyway, let's get on with things. So, um, we have arrived recently in Germany here, in, in the game that is, not me. Um, uh, following um, our Uncle Wolfgang, um, who lives in this part of the world and who asked us to come come and see him who we've never met uh, we are dealing as you may recall with a voodoo cult in New Orleans who we're quite tangled up with and uh, yes things have gotten quite quite dire there was a, a sacrificed chicken in our shop while we were in the other room we and we knowing nothing until we came out to find it and all sorts of dark doings and such like. In any case, so we've come to Germany, we've learned that we are a Schattenjäger, um, and that it means shadow hunter. Um, and that this is a, a family a family line thing that we have inherited that our our parents and our father and grandfather had rejected. Anyway, so we are in the family Schloss, Schloss uh, the family castle that is Schlossritter. And uh, we're about to, to talk with this uh, fine person. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. Uh, right, so... Uh, who are Tell you? me something about yourself. I was born in Rittersburg, the village below the castle. Um, okay, um, we don't get her name. Her name is Gerda, I believe. Um, what right. can you tell me about Voodoo? Guessing not Wolfgang much. Wolfgang is the only one who would know about that. Yeah, that's fair. She's not going to know a lot about this. She herself is not a Schattenjäger. Um, let's see. Do we just know Do you know about anything this? about a secret Voodoo hound fool? That is something Wolfgang would know about, Herr Knight. Mm, yeah, I thought as much. That's fair, so Wolfgang will probably know about all of this stuff. Uh, well, so tell us tell about, me Wolfgang. about Wolfgang. What would you like to know? Uh, alright. Well, yeah, where, where did he go? Where do you think go? Wolfgang went? I don't know, but I have a feeling he has gone off to go be Schattenjäger again. That it's would make too sense. too old for such chasing around. His heart is very weak. He has not left this castle for five years, and now this? Uh, which reminds me, once again, content warning, this is a horror game, um, or at least horror themed. It does contain some fairly dark stuff, so depending on how far we get in this session, potentially expect some uh, deathly things of one sort or another, and possibly even some gore. Um, so yes, content warning. Uh, yeah, you know when he'll be back? I only pray he <coughs> will be Excuse back. Me. Before he left, he said Schloss Rida now belongs to Gabriel. No, it worried me so to hear him say that. I'm afraid Wolfgang knew he would never return. What is Wolfgang like? Wolfgang is a truly wise and good man, the best I have ever known. But his life has been so full of disappointments. What kind of disappointments? Sorry to hear it. His only son died in infancy, Ooh. so there was no one to carry on the family line. And the family's financial troubles have been hard on him. Wolfgang wanted to do so much for the world, but it was all he could do just to hold on to Schloss Ritter. He has not left his mark as he wished to. Hmm, yeah, that... 
I could see, especially as he's apparently getting quite old, that could leave you know, some regret curdling in the heart. What is your relationship with Wolfgang? Herr Knight, my relationship with your uncle is really none of your business. You're right, Gerda. I apologize. There's her name. Forget I asked. Can you show me Wolfgang's library? How do you know about his library? When we talked on the phone, he said he was going to do some research in his library. I thought maybe if I saw what he was researching... Ah, yeah. A good idea, Herr Knight, but I'm afraid I cannot show you the library. You see, I have never been in it. Only a Schattenjäger can enter the library. I see. Uh, or oh, nothing, never mind. We could get As more information like, by asking her to tell us just anything, I dare say, but uh, let's keep things moving. Uh, we do have some stuff to learn here. Tell me something about the Ritter family. I can tell you what they say in the village, what I heard when I was small. To the villagers, the Ritters are a little, how do you say, tragic, to be pitied. They say that the Ritters were chosen by God to fight evil, but something happened. One of them was cursed, and so the Ritters lost the way. They struggle still, but like a lame dog, you see? Without the power or magic they once had. Mm. Yeah, I know, I see the tragedy in that. Uh, a once powerful force for good, um, crippled. Yeah, not even in the same way as Rakish from Quest for Glory um, 2 and 3 and uh, later. Um, who we met in a, when we were playing Quest for Glory 2 and Quest for Glory 3. Uh, he still retained a lot of his potency and a lot of his um, ability to, if not physically, uh, in other ways oppose evil, which the Schattenjägers seem to have uh, fallen from. Tell me something about the Ritter family. There are legends of how powerful the family once was of some of their mighty deeds, of the richness of the castle, and in turn, Rittersburg itself. But at the end of the 17th century, that all changed. Since then, the Ritters and Rittersburg have been in decline. I'm just going to exit out of the conversation for a moment. End of the 17th century, she said, so 1600s. Uh, let's have a look at the diary that we were seeing. Gabriel sent. reads to the... He reads uh, about... Oh, but See if there's a no. date on any of this. No, unfortunately. Um, Gunter, it's a new somewhere. The letter. Uh, anything? Wolf. Dear Gabriel, God. No, unfortunately. Um, we don't actually have uh, a date on any of that, but I would Can guess that I that stuff with yeah, Gunter Ritter cool. happened uh, just before the fall of the Ritter family and was in fact the cause of the fall of the Ritter family. Anything else? It is a troubled family here, Knight. That much I know. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter. Schloss Ritter has stood for many centuries. No one knows how long. It was once the pride of Bavaria, but now it is in disrepair. Wolfgang received offers to open the castle for tourists. He has risen. Oh, sorry about that. Tell uh, me something. The castle has many, many rooms and passages here tonight. Most have been closed off and are decaying in the dark and damp. Only a few rooms have been kept up due to the cost. Didn't Wolfgang mention a library? There is a library, but I've never been in it. There are places in the castle where only the master is allowed to go. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Sorry about that uh, accidental skip. Um, I don't think we missed anything terribly important. But, Tell me uh, something about... Schloss Ritter is the center from which the Schattenjägers have always gone out to battle the forces of evil. Okay, I think that's pretty much that for now. Um, before we leave this scene, I do see that little item there. At the moment. Okay, it's a salt cellar. Uh, Gabriel doesn't need it just yet. Let's, well, let's have a look at that. A large handcraft dagger hangs on the wall. It looks quite old. 
but it's been polished to a high shine. That sounds nice. Let's see if we can take that just yet. This dagger. It is the knife of a Schattenjäger. You may take it, Herr Knight. Everything in this castle is yours now. Aha! The Schattenjäger dagger. Oops. Ah, oh, there we go. The Ritter dagger is solid, weighty, and highly polished. If we go on to uh, Gabriel Knight 2, as I do want to do, um, we'll get a much better view of that dagger then, if I'm not much mistaken. It gets a bit of a makeover between games. Ah, now this is a nice scene. Look at this. Look at that stained glass. Look at those tapestries. And, you know, it's just its a really nice chapel, I think. So let's have a look around. Three panels hang from each side of the chapel. Gabriel cannot determine what their purpose might be. A magnificent stained glass window depicts the legendary battle between St. George and the dragon. A plain wooden altar occupies the center of the chapel. A cushioned kneeler at the bottom indicates that the altar is a place of prayer. Okay. Uh, well, let's see if we can use a pew. The pews look uncomfortable. Okay. Gabriel would rather not sit there. Okay, maybe, maybe another time. Let's come back. We'll take a look around the what we have available in the Schloss before we go. And before we go, before we uh, do anything in particular, I suppose. Sorry, I am a bit tired, I will confess. So forgive me if I uh, stumble a bit in my narration. Ah, so what do we have here? There's a small pair of grooming scissors on the cabinet. Okay, can we have those? Gabriel takes the scissors. Nice. And, uh, ah, a bowl as well. And we have a mirror by the looks of it. Which we can check ourselves out in. A large display case hangs on the wall. It contains a scroll. Oh, that sounds like something we might want. This scroll looks interesting. And uh, what about opening a window? If we look outside... Outside the window there's, there's some a snow. nice thick ledge covered with snow. And it's only slightly off color. <laughs> Rather like Gabriel himself. Oh dear, oh dear. At the foot of the bed is a small table. Uh, is that openable? I forget whether that's... Gabriel cannot... No, okay. We have a bed here, and we have a door. Near the bed is an elaborate wooden door. Quite a pretty one, actually. The portal says, Nur de Rheinstadt passieren. Decent carrots is Rhein wie glass. Decent zähler Rhein wie Führer. Schreitet Hörde durch Portal. I got a couple of words of that. I, oh yeah, I don't know what to make of it. Well, I could probably figure out some of it knowing what I know of the game, but uh, my I know next. It's locked. Well, nowhere near enough German for that. Uh, all right, well let's have a quick look at some of those items that we picked up. Um, ah, what about the scroll. Saint George, patron of the light, who hunts the shadows of the night. Upon my blood I call thee now. Purify me. For I avow to set my feet upon thy road, thy sword I take up for mine own. Okay. An oath. Perhaps a Chartonier go oath. The chamber pot is old, but clean. But the latter is appreciated. This is the... Okay. Um, now. We have a couple of useful looking items. Not quite sure what the next move is. I suppose talking to Gerda. I don't think we'll have to leave the Schloss for a little while yet. Uh, the next, the, the uh, can I ask you a few questions? Immediate. Yeah, of course. The word that I'm looking for. Uh, major things all take place in here until uh, it comes time to leave for the next destination. I believe. 
Uh, ah, okay, so we have a couple of interesting new things we can ask here. What can you tell me about those wall panels in the chapel? The hangings? They describe the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. Now that's interesting. Tell me about the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. Each young man of the Ritter line must go through the ceremony when he dedicates himself to be a Schattenjäger. But what does the ceremony do? I do not know, Herr Knight. The only people present are the old Schattenjäger and the new. But I think it must be similar to a priest's ordination or a wedding, a ceremony of intent and oath. You! Is there a problem, Herr Knight? You said wedding. I'm okay now. Yeah, that sort of character. This game is from the 90s in all fairness. I mean, that was a little more um, amusing. See, held to be a little more amusing, I suppose. But anyway. Is there anything else you can tell me about that initiation ceremony? I really do not know any more about it, Herr Knight. Okay. Uh, what about this portal? There part? are some words over the locked door in Wolfgang's bedroom. What do they mean? Helps to have someone who's bilingual ah, about. Yes. Wolfgang had me translate it as part of my English lessons. In English it means only the purest here may pass. He whose heart is pure as glass. He whose soul is pure as fire. Through this portal passes higher. Great. Thanks. Interesting. So we need to purify ourselves in short. So uh, the short, long and short of it is that in order to get into the Schartenjäger library, we have to become a Schartenjäger proper. And in order to do that, we have to initiate ourselves. And this is apparently the ceremony. Well, we know we have a scroll. We have a place to kneel. We have hair. Yep, yeah, we have hair. Uh, all right, let's have a look at these again. According to Gerda, the panels outline the Schattenjäger's initiation ceremony. The second panel shows hair and a knife. The okay. first panel shows hands and water. So cleaning our hands, cutting our hair. The see. third panel shows a chalice on a table with ocean waves in the background. Okay. The fourth panel shows a knife and a few drops of blood. Good old fashioned uh, sacrifice, a symbolic sacrifice, I suppose. The fifth panel shows someone kneeling. Makes sense. The sixth panel shows a scroll. A magnificent stained glass window depicts the legendary battle between Saint George and the dragon. Hmm, that is a that is definitely something. Uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Somewhat stirring to me, I think. Uh, just to whoops, just to double check. Can we use the pews now? The pews look no. Okay. I think I'm getting, with the pews, I think I might be getting some stuff mixed up from the novelization, um, having read that before. Uh, Alright, so, uh, the first thing we want to do is wash our hands. Oh, we can achieve that. We don't have water on tap, apparently, but there is snow just outside the window. And we have a bowl. So, I think... Um, do we need the, I don't know that we need the bowl for this. I think we might be able to just wash our hands in the snow, cold though that may be. Thinking of the first chapel yeah, there we hand, go. Gabriel washes his hands in the snow. Okay, uh, can I read? Do I want to open? Yep, the game got a little bit confused there. Uh, and I want to take some snow as well. Putting snow in. Okay, maybe not. Oh, uh, actually, we do want one more thing up there because we're going to want the mirror. Uh, I think my mic might be a bit too high. I'm just going to draw up that down a bit. Yeah, that looks like it might be a little better, I think. Uh, right, so we saw the next panel involved the cutting of hair. Something that poor Gabriel might not like since he's quite fond of his hair, but... Thinking of the second chapel panel, Gabriel cuts his hair. Ah. Uh. I hate this. There, that's plenty. 
<laughs> Poor Gabriel. Uh, also, let me close these windows since I think they are supposed to be closed, given that we did see an animation of that and we had a bit of a glitch when we tried to reopen them. And this should all be, by the way, leading up to one of my favourite sequences in the game. Uh, in fact, this, uh, there is, I think, uh, some, uh, some rather good stuff coming up. Um, first of all, uh, the outcome of this, then... Oh, let me not spoil it. But there's, a, yeah, there's some really cool stuff coming up, I think. Now, that panel there shows a, today chalice against the ocean. The, the thing about the ocean, I think I remember get myself getting stuck on this puzzle in a previous uh, playthrough. The thing about the ocean is that it's salty, which means we want salt, which makes a certain amount of sense. Is that a shaker of salt? Yeah, salt. Mind if I take it? No. Thanks. Uh, salt is associated with purification um, in uh, certain traditions, so it makes a certain amount of sense that a ritual that, in, at least in part, is intended to purify one involves salt in some way. Okay, so, now let's see, how do we do this? That's the question. Hmm, that's an interesting thought. But there would be less chance of spilling the salt if Gabriel put the chamber pot down first. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut that off, but yes, that's fair. Put the pit chamber pot down, let's put it on the altar, Thinking I of the third panel, Gabriel puts the chamber pot on the altar. And then uh, put some table salt into it, apparently. I should quite like the depiction of the, the salt cellar in the inventory. It's actually quite nicely rendered in that pixel art. Gabriel knows the salt is important, but it doesn't seem right. No, I'm, I'm on the, there we go, the that's what I was panel. trying to click on. Gabriel pours the contents of the salt shaker into the chamber pot. Next one, a little bit of the old ritual sacrifice is mentioned, and they do specify a dagger, you see there, so... Thinking of the fourth panel, Gabriel holds his arm over the chamber pot and nicks it with the dagger. Oops, nearly hit an artery. Ouch. Uh, it occurs to me, by the way, that we just have to somewhat hope that we're getting this right, because we don't have the old Schartenjäger around to, uh, to instruct us, so we're just going to have to make do. Thinking of the fifth panel, Gabriel kneels at the altar. And, uh, finally, uh, the scroll. By the way, I'd just like to point out that, uh, our protagonist's name is Knight, much like this fellow here, which is, if I'm not much mistake, mistaken, an English translation of his old family surname of Ritter. Thinking of the sixth panel, nice dramatic Gabriel refrain. reads the scroll. St. George, patron of the light, Opposing, I suppose. who hunts the shadows Both. of the night. Anyway. Upon my blood I call thee now, purify me, for I avow to set my feet upon thy road, thy sword I take up for mine own. It worked. Something's happening. Oh, excuse me. I was just vacuuming. I did not <laughs> know you were in here. Nice little fake Oh, that's alright. I've done about all I can do in here anyway. I give up. You look tired here, Knight. Why don't you oh, go to bed? Oh no, it looks like sure. it didn't work. Why not? I will clean I everything up. Oh you well. Not very. I'm I sure a nice night's sleep cut my hair for we'll, nothing. Uh, we'll make everyone feel better. I'm sure that's how this is going to go. Nice scene of Schloss Ritter. It's going to look very different in Gabriel Knight too if we get there, I do seem to recall. That's okay. It actually does look pretty cool in Gabriel Knight too, if less dramatic. That night, Gabriel dreams. I mean, of course, we generally dream every night, but we don't usually remember our dreams. Anyway, cutscene. Your soul smells, Gabriel Knight. You seek to be shattered yet, mm, I love this scene. I do. You must first burn away the past. How much 
sin do you have to burn? <laughs> You have used people all your life. Never committed to anything. Turn back now, and I will forget that you asked for this. No! There are only two things that redeem you. First, that you have bitter blood in your veins. Second, that you women have loved you purely. You ask to start on the path, so you shall. But you will not be a Shatanega until you have earned it. How? I cannot show you the path, but I can tell you that you will have to let go of the greater part of yourself, Gabriel Knight. <laughs> no problem. Yes. Now you asked for purification. How do we purify you things? shall have it. The traditional way, of course. is with fire. Ooh, glass sword, nice. Okay, that looked a trifle silly, but this bit's cool. And there it is. Looks like that uh, ritual had some effect at, at any rate. But was it just a dream? Day 8. Inside a hidden chamber where I had no right to be, I found the wheel at last. Or could it be the wheel found me? Maybe not just a dream. That wasn't there Good when we went night. to sleep, I'm pretty sure. I'm so all over. Not surprised. I don't believe it. It's the key from my dream. Let me pick that up quickly. Now, before we go on, uh, there was something interesting said there that I find a little intriguing. Um, that is that the draconic figure that we faced in the dream said that there were that of the two uh, well, of the two soul redeeming uh, factors. In Gabriel Knight's uh, petition for Schattenjägerhood, the latter was that three women have loved him purely. I wonder who those three women were. Now, his grandmother is very likely one of them. Uh, love is, of course, not always romantic. Um, his grandmother raised him, dotes, seems to dote on him. Um, I would guess that his grandmother is one of those three women, but who then are the other two? It's easy to guess his mother, but his mother didn't know him for very long, I don't think. He was quite young when uh, his parents died. Still, I do imagine that his mother loved him, so maybe her? But then who's the last? Malia? Grace? Um, I would suspect that Grace is one of them, because I think it's strongly hinted throughout this game that there is something serious between them um, that might blossom if it were not for... Gabe, the way the, if it were not for Gabriel's current position in terms of relationships, let's say, um, his current approach to them. Um, but there's enough there, enough rockiness there that maybe it's not Grace, maybe it's Malia. I don't know. Uh, so I, I wonder about that sometimes. Who are the three women that loved Gabriel purely? This is oh. the have a look at that. It's a the cool key. The large brass key is ornately shaped and must weigh a pound at least. I don't know how much a pound is, but it uh, sounds like a lot. Uh, you know what? Before we go in, I want to see if Gerda knows anything about this key. Oh, yes, Gabriel. I 
I slipped in during the night and put it on your uh, on your table. Somehow I doubt that's going to be a response. Good morning, Herr Knight. I'm cooking your Frustuck, a good German breakfast. Please feel at home. Thank you, thank you, Gerda. Uh, Gerda. I found this key in Wolfgang's bedroom. That is good, Herr Knight. Uh, all right. I would. I was hoping you had a little more to say. Ah, oh. you wouldn't know anything about this key I found in Wolfgang's bedroom, now, would you? Key? Why, no, Herr Knight. I cannot say that I do. You wouldn't know it. No, okay, she has nothing to say. That's fair. I'm interested to note that uh, breakfast today seems to be much as supper than the previous night. Potatoes. Not that there's anything wrong with potatoes. Potatoes are pretty good. Oh, man. I named my shop after you. You've always fascinated me. I just never knew why until now. Hmm. That's an interesting point. Yeah, he named his... The views look on... His shops and George's. So there's... This Schartenjäger thing has been underlying his life from the start, it seems. And, I would say, the life of his father and grandfather too, though they tried to escape it. They failed, I'm afraid, but uh, they tried. Alright, let's get into this library, shall we? It fits. I don't know why the voice audio was so, slow, was so soft there. Ah! Now, good old-fashioned research puzzle. These texts are in German. These te See what we have. These shelves contain books and documents, journals, okay. something to peruse. These shelves, something. These shelves contain history books. Gabriel peruses the. These sh okay. These shelves, journals, something. So. Looks like it's half and half. These shelves contain Gabriel Peru. Religion. These shelves Gabriel. I have. Oops. These shelves contain science books. Gabriel looks at the. Okay, religion and science. This part of the life. Occult. Necromancy, witchcraft, demonology, lycanthropes. Hmm, one of those is relevant. Research for material Gabriel, like any good Schattenjäger needs. Gabriel supposes. These shelves, this a title catches Gabriel's ah, eye. Benin, that name is come up. People's Republic of Benin by Lowell Kelly. We'll come back. Let's just see what the shelves hold. There are books on sociology, ah, sociology. in this part of the library. Gabriel peruses the. These shelves contain. Gabriel the peruses one. the titles with interest, but nothing jumps out at him. It would be a little alarming if it did jump out at him. Anyway, let's collect that book on Benin. Gabriel pulls out the book entitled People's Republic of Benin and scans through it. The People's Republic of Benin is an area of rich and diverse cultures and a proud heritage. Before slaving devastated many tribes, this area was populated by some of the oddest, fiercest, and most powerful tribes in tribal Africa. The Fans, the Dahomies, and the Terrible Agris. The book, The Primal One, by John Roots, provides insight into these fascinating cultures. I, I don't know whether I spotted this in the previous playthroughs, but I'm just wondering whether those, the former, those former two tribes that they mentioned there um, are references, Fonz, to a, a character from some old TV show, I believe, and Dahomies, meaning the homies um anyway uh so it sounds like we probably want sociology this part not the occult there are ah. gabriel recognizes the title the primal one by john root and this is basically how this puzzle is going to go it's it's a very simple puzzle because you can just brute force it easily by just looking everywhere but anyway we'll try gabriel takes and down do it properly. the primal ones and opens it 
in contrast with the peaceful nomadic. Oh, kitten, sorry about that. Gabriel, in contrast with the peaceful nomadic tribes of Northern Africa, certain tribes of the Southwest were vicious and xenophobic. This part of Africa is called the Red Basin area because of the vast amount of bloodshed that's occurred there over the centuries. In this one area of Africa existed in a perpetual state of war and raiding. Some of the most powerful and efficient fighters the world has ever seen. Why did this region inspire such violent behavior? To understand, one must look even further back. See ancient roots of Africa by early days. Ah, oh, of course, the classic Sierra punning, early days. Yeah, our book Gabriel recognizes and of course, John the Roots, the getting to the roots of the things. Uh, anyway, uh, so we want archaeology. Where was archaeology? These no, are titled. Geography. Uh, this part. That's the occult. These shells give shells give religion. Where was archaeology here? No, here. These shells there we go. Gabriel per No? There are Gabriel History perhaps. These shells Gabriel oh, recognizes it. So Gabriel removes ancient roots of Africa and browses through it. The ferocity of the tribes in the Red Basin region is traceable to their predecessors. In Egyptian time, 4000 to 2000 BC, this region was ruled by powerful sun worshippers. We know a little about this mysterious cult by the remnants of ruins far older and of a culture far more advanced than any that exist in Africa today. See Sun Worshippers by a curate. <laughs> curate being um, a job that one might have in a museum, if I'm not much mistaken. Uh, all right, so that's surely archaeology. Uh, where did I leave archaeology? Was it here? The yeah. Gabriel Par No? Sociology then? This part... No, that's the occult. The shell... That's geography. Where's sociology? These shells are tied to Gabriel's it's, eye. It's religion, sorry. Sun yes, of course it is. By a curate. Uh, I actually had one of these puzzles uh, in a game of, in for which I made a demo once upon a time. It. One of the earliest religious practices was that of sun worship. The most powerful cults of sun worshippers lived on the continent of Africa. The African sun god was violent and terrible, and so became his worshippers. They practiced a particularly bloody form of ritual sacrifice. The homeland of this ancient cult is still considered a sacred site of power. See Ancient Digs of Africa by Professor Seymour Shards. <laughs> of course an archaeologist will see more shards. Ah. There are book Gabriel. Gabriel. Gabriel takes ancient digs of Africa and opens it. The most fascinating archaeological site in Africa is the Great Snake Mound in the People's Republic of Benin, oh, we're located back to Benin. 50 miles south of the capital in the Red Basin. Like the Snake Mounds of North America, the origin and meaning of these great mounds remains a mystery, though clearly they were the results of profound and urgent spiritual belief. Unlike other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound. A small snake ring within a larger snake ring. A wheel within a the wheel. The mound is thought to have housed an ancient temple. Although archaeologists have explored the mound site, the interior remains largely unchanged from ancient times. This is partially due to stringent government regulations and partially to local superstitions. 
the local people regard the mound with fear and will not go near it. A double snake ring? Gabriel flips furiously looking for a picture. Oh my god, it's a wheel within a wheel. Hmm. Gabriel decides to hang on to the snake mound book. Local superstitions, they say. I Could it be that maybe that's not superstition? Maybe it's uh, quite well founded? All right, so I think we found what we want. Uh, we uh, we want to go to the snake mound in Benin. Um, Ancient digs of... Right. So, let's head out and see what Gerda can, Gerda can help us. Yeah, the other game that I was talking about was uh, A Door to the Mists, of which I made a demo, but uh, which, alas, didn't go beyond that point. And I tried to find publisher interest and, uh, alas, did not. But, uh, if you want to, if you're interested, uh, the demo should still be up on my itch.io page, at least at uh, time of broadcast. Uh, let's talk with her. Again? Yeah. There. Maybe we show the book to her? Don't have to throw the book at her. I don't think she's done anything wrong. Ah, oh, right. I found this book in the library. I think it might tell us where Wolfgang went. Africa? You think Wolfgang went to Africa? I know he did. Then I shall make you a plane trip right now, yeah? Well, I guess so. Okay, what's... Ice? Good, good. My poor Wolfgang. You have money for the plane, yeah? Uh... I know. We can use this credit card. <laughs> Mosley's credit I card. I will go make the call. Then, while ah, we wait, Mosley. breakfast. Does that mean I get some coffee now? Alright, he hasn't had his coffee today. How is poor Gabriel surviving? we go. That does look pretty cool, I will say. And day nine already. <clears throat> and then the wheel went round and round, I could not find my way. Twelve and three and turn the key, I heard the madman say. Twelve and three, that's uh, something to remember. Indeed. You want I stay here, right? It's a long walk back to the city. Yeah, sure. Wait here, please. Uh, maybe a while, though. No problem. I could use a nap. Mm, that's fair. It's probably been a long drive. The jeep driver. Okay. The snake mound consists of an outer ring and an inner ring. Two snakes eating their tail. All right, let's let's not tarry. Oh, uh, this is where the content warnings start to come in. By the way, well, actually, they probably came in with the uh, with the re, uh, ritual. Uh, well, the uh, not the ritual itself, but the well, I suppose there was a bit of bloodletting in the ritual, but uh, the cutscene that followed the ritual. But uh, yes, uh, content warnings for deathly stuff and gore coming up, depending on how quickly I solve some of this. But uh, some deathly stuff right here. Body like figures in contorted poses appear to be the only residents here. Yeah. Gabriel wonders was this a burial mound? Or does their presence serve some ritualistic purpose? Also, this is so cool. I love this, this scene. This is. This whole. It's a bit like, it's a bit like a massive. Um, a barrow in the in the sense of a burial mound, uh, although it's not necessarily a burial mound. Note, um, well, it, it's complicated, I think, but it just looks cool, and I like this sort of site and its 
Yeah, really cool. The walls bear ancient paintings. The handiwork of the sun worshippers, no doubt. An etched stone is on the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten snakes An on this one. Can we take it? This stone looks interesting. Okay, so we're collecting stones. Oh, that is a little disturbing, honestly. Mummy like the Gabriel Wonder. So we're just going to collect these stones as many as we can. Uh, going round and round the wheel until we get to the back, to the last. Oh, there's one that's actually fallen out by the looks of it. Another one. This is, for me, the first time that this game really, at least as familiar as I am with the game, uh, just being very familiar with the game, you know, not a, there's not all of the horror remains for me, but here it still kind of does. This is still pretty disturbing, pretty eerie. And I love it. Let me make it clear. That is uh, something that I love in this game. Ah. Oh. Hmm. It's stuck. Well, that's worth noting. What's this one? An etched stone is on the wall. One, A two, shadow three, flickers four, in the corner five. of Gabriel's eye. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve snakes on this one, and it's fixed. So everything else is going to be rel uh, uh, it's going to be relative to this. So twelve. This one's empty. I'm just going to do a full circuit and get everything first. So, I'm not going to keep uh, keep track just yet since I'm still collecting items, but we'll work our way back round. Ah, that looks interesting. It's shaped a little like a snake. Let's go have a look at that. Interesting. The long rod is shaped like a snake. The head of the rod is the snake's angled triangular head. two on the ground this time. Nice bit of variation in item placement, which helps keep things feeling a little naturalistic, I think. And uh, it prevents things getting boring. Ah, and this is an interesting one. Still has a plate. Hmm. It's also stuck. And which one is this? An edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. An edge. So that's worth noting. And we are back at the start. So that was seven that we just came from. Um, yes. So, now here's the, th the trick. This is a wheel. And if you kept track, um, I, I wasn't because honestly I, I took it for granted having played the game before. But there, if I'm not much mistaken, there are 12 of these rooms in the mound. So a wheel, 12 rooms, um, sun worshippers, we're dealing with something to do with timekeeping. And for some reason these ancient uh, Beninese, Beninese, is that the right word? Benin? These ancient people of Benin um, apparently use the same clock as us, um, a one of 12 hours. Um, and so yes, that one to our left is seven. Which means that this one, going anti-clockwise from that one, a is six. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Um, and yes, we're going to continue around. That 12 was the top of the clock. Um, so yeah, the, the trick here, if I'm not much mistaken, is then just to place all of these plates in numerical order. So which one is six? One, two, three, four, five, I think. Looks like four. This looks like six. It fits. Let's just have a closer look. An edge. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. 
good. So we're going in decreasing order now. We want five for this one. We could go clockwise, but I'm going anti-clockwise. Uh, I am a rebel. Uh, I am rebel scum, or something like that. So this looks like five. And we're going to want four. This isn't all of it, don't worry. This isn't the whole puzzle. Ah, there's four. This is just the prelude to the puzzle. Well, I suppose it's, it's the first puzzle of the, of, the, uh, of the mound, let me rather say. Because it is a, if you don't know the answer, it is a full puzzle in its own right. Three. And this lovely, lovely uh, atmospheric, uh, just notice that guy there behind the roots. Lovely atmospheric setting. Uh, two should be up next. Two, there we go. One. Uh, there we go, there's one. Now, if we're correct, the next one should be the fixed plate that we saw earlier. Yep, there you go, 12. Which means we're coming back around the clock to 11, or Elven, as I like to say. Um, which one is that? Is that this one? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. Uh, oh, this one looks like it might be eleven. Two, four, uh, six, eight, ten. No. Uh, this one. Oh, yes, there we go. Five on either side and one. There we go. This is eleven. Not to be confused with the young lady from Stranger Things. And this is ten. Which we just saw. Why is my cursor so laggy? Cursor? Cursor, can I help you? Um, which one was 10? That's 5, that's 9. This one's 10, I believe. Yeah, oh yes, two sets of... Uh, five sets of two, rather. Here we go. 10. And... Don't worry, it's going to get a little more exciting soon, I think. And 9 was this one, yes. We're not in Germany, so we can't. We won't say nine anymore to that. And last but not least, uh, once we get there, there we go. This is presumably eight. I won't stop to count it. Aha, uh -huh, but it sounds like we did something right. Uh, but let's have a look, because that is a pretty cool and design. It. That is a nice way of uh, presenting that, I think. I'm uh, just uh, setting a reminder for myself have some uh, electrical load shedding coming up and then we're back here at seven so the next thing is uh, the walls bear ancient is now what we have if we look closely at this and it you see there's a hole and here itch, and it okay, it's not going to tell us but there's a there's a hole in each of these plates and we have a long snake rod and these are all snake decorated and in a snake mound. So the idea is to put the rod in the hole. But off which in hole? The mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. Oh, that's a little disconcerting. Um, so yes, so the question is into which holes are we supposed to put this? Well, we were given the answer in the poem at the start of the day. Twelve and three in turn the key. So, remembering that the door is here, we're going to want to go all the way around to twelve. Um, uh, we're at six, so it doesn't really matter which way around we go. Uh, but let's go this way so we can keep going in the same direction. So seven, eight. I mean, we keep going around in the same direction and have it be short, a shorter trip, that is. Uh, nine, ten. Come on. Eleven. And I think... I think this next one is the one that we want. Sorry, I just got a notification on my device here. Oh, I think it's, yes, it's charged. That's what it's trying to tell me. That's fine, thank you for telling me, device. Uh, right, so let's see, is this an edge? Number 12, uh, what is that, five, five, 12. Yes, good, okay, so, look, I'm going to save at this point. 
Okay, and you'll see why once I... Not this one, but in a bit. The rod fits into the hole in the stone. Nothing happens. There's 12. So continuing around this way, you should go to one... Two and three, if I'm not much mistaken. Let me just check myself before I wreck myself. And it. Yep, three. And again, just to be on the safe side, I want to save the room. Oh, did I? I'm not sure that I saved properly. I didn't click where I was expecting to click. There we go. Okay. From somewhere we go. off in the mound, Gabriel hears a soft Success! I'm sure all is going to go well now. Uh-oh. I have a feeling that did something. Yep. Uh, look at that fella. Gabriel cannot uh, no. see a... Go, 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 go. You know what? Content warning, because I'm going to show you the death. Yeah, it goes badly for Gabriel if uh, if you let him get killed. Oh, and here's a skull. I really don't want to be dead. Can we try that again? It's a slightly... It's not the best skull I've ever seen, but anyway. What is a device? What are you trying to tell me about? Yes, I know. Thank you. Ah, oh, Apps trying to... Uh, to tell me about interesting things. I do want to, I do actually appreciate that uh, notification because I do want to uh, act on it just now, but after the stream. From somewhere. Okay, so now let's uh -oh. get this. I have it. Let's get going. We don't want to get caught this time. Go, 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 Gabriel. This one's standing in front of the door. That's no good. Uh, now I think we want that to. That doesn't work. That. I'm not quite sure how this goes. Do we just juke him. I think we just juke him. Oh, but these guys are in a bit of a. They're causing us a bit of trouble. Uh, they're surrounding us. We have one at. I'm not going to move the pointer because it's currently pausing the game. We have one at our left at the exit door. We have one at the door in front of us. One to our right. And if we go back, there's one behind us. What are we going to do? We are going to. I can't believe I'm Indiana doing Jones this. Indiana Jones is on a vine. Oh, shit. And it is... Gabriel Knight, I presume. Uncle Wolfgang? Uncle Wolfgang at long last. In person. Now go to it, boy. I can't hold these creatures for very long, and there are more on the way. They are cool, go to what? Those creatures. The secret panel, boy. Those creatures are only alive while it's open. Close it, Gabriel, and hurry. Okay, so better operate on that hole. I think I found something. Very good, Gabriel. Now stand back. And we're through. That's the first. Uh, real action-y sequence in the game. Not the last, the first. Whew, that was... Wow. If you don't know what the you're doing, you can, get some, you can take some yes. deaths there. Real within a wheel. Hmm. Are you okay? You don't look so hot. He is pretty old. I'm fine, Gabriel. The wheel. You dreamt it? Yeah, and you? Yes. I must congratulate you on the Three Snakes connection. I had missed it. You will make a wonderful shot, Nega. Who? Me? Yes. It is a long Sorry path, my boy. Drinking, by the way, but do stay I myself have still the last of my three quests to meet. But let us see what is here. You have found the heart of the apple. But it might be poison still. Okay. A mummy lies on the floor, apparently having fallen inanimate where it stood when the secret passage door closed. Hmm. 
good for us. Can we talk? Yeah, we probably have a little time here. Yes, all right. So we finally get to talk properly with Wolfgang. And there he is, not a silhouette anymore. Uh, now let's see, we don't need to ask him about much of this. Um, what does he know about the voodoo hound? Any ideas on where the Getty hound fool in New Orleans might be? Leider nicht. You have to try to find it when you return to New Orleans. Oh, we will. You must not go in alone, though. Even we if won't. we find the talisman, it will be quite a battle. Yeah, that's that's not wrong. Tell me about yourself. This is not the time nor the place, Gabriel. I, I'm sorry, but I assure you, my life has not been all that instructive. Is there anything else you can tell me about Tetelo? I can feel her presence here. I wouldn't be surprised if she knew we were violating her sanctum. Is there anything else you can tell me about the talisman? The most important thing about the talisman is that it be once again in the hands of the Schattenjägers. Do you think Tetelo's remains are here? I have a feeling that they are, Gabriel. Okay. Ah. Oh. This is the inner wheel of the... The inner wheel is decorated with mass murals, similar to the ones that hid the secret passageway door. They are pretty cool. On the wall is a rack containing two long iron bars. Look at that table. Yes, it is very old. There is a story being told through the carvings on the side. Can you make it out? Tribesman discovers a snake mound hidden in the jungle. He manages, after much time, to find the secret entrance to the inner wheel. In this room, he bows down to a small idol of some sort. The thing is radiating, like a sun. That explains the source of the Getty's tribal power. They found this mound and the idol in it. Where the idol came from originally is hard to say, but it is definitely older than the Gettys. The idol was probably once kept in this table, but they would have it with them now. It must be destroyed. Interesting. The table's lid fits heavily on the base. At the seams, there are two large holes on either side. On top of the lid is a trough. What's that trough for? I saw that. This is undoubtedly a sacrificial table. That trough is for... a human heart. Mm. Oh, that's really? sick. Well, these look useful. What about these iron bars? Good idea. Let me help you. Perhaps these holes... There! Let's get the other... There! Okay, well... We have the bars. Can we open the table? Let's try to lift this top. Poor Wolfgang's looking definitely somewhat weak, I'm afraid. I know it's in there. Yes, it is in there. I have not felt this powerful since, well, ever. Why won't the damn lid come off? It is a sacrificial table. It can probably only be triggered by the proper use of that trough there, with a heart. Oh, great. Where are we going to get a heart? Gabriel. You must take the talisman and be Schattenjäger. You performed the ritual and dreamt of the dragon, no? Yes, I did. But you're the current Schattenjäger. I only did that because... Because you were driven to it. 
I have done nothing with this title for many years. Even in my prime, I had few cases. Oh, if my life had a purpose, it was to bring you to this point. But I have no idea what I'm doing. This is not a science, Gabriel. It is instinct. And you have it in your blood. Trust it. The castle is yours now. It has many documents and records which will help you in the future. Well, thanks for the confidence. But what about this table? I want you to go into the next room and get a heart from that dead creature on the floor. Will that work? Doesn't it need to be... fresh? Let us try. Perhaps there's some of the old Ritter magic left. Go on. Okay, um, before I do this, again, serious content warning uh, for gore. This is... Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, you'll see if you stick around after the warning. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's cut out the, the heart of this mummy, shall we? Great. My first job is Schattenjäger, cutting up dead monsters. As I said, four. Wolfgang! No! He presumably knew that we would try to stop him, and so he sent us on a fool's errand. No! Um, after the, uh, the, the heart of that uh, mummy, and tore out his own heart with his own hand. You gonna pay for this, you bitch! But we did find the talisman, as you see there. We got what we came for. Why did he go to Africa, Gertie? <sighs> no, it's okay. I'm just a little anxious. No, they haven't. I just need to talk to Gabriel. Oh, that's <laughs> ominous. Day 10. Deep in the earth I faced a fight that I could never win. The blameless and the base destroyed and all that might have been. Gabriel Knight. It's the end of the poem that we've been reading. To, uh, what it, a pair of lines at a time. Which means that we're entering the finale. After arranging for a shipment of Wolfgang's body back Shame. to Richesburg, oh well, Wolf Gabriel Wolfgang. returns to New Orleans. He Go carries well. with him the Ritter talisman. He has not heard from Grace for over 24 hours, and he could not reach Malia by phone. And although he has some idea of what he is coming home to attempt, he still has no clue where to attempt it. Or does he? Is that not a familiar shape? A wheel within a wheel? And so we come to the finale. Um, I'm going to save, and I'm actually going to call the, call the stream there. With the intention to come back to uh, finish it next week. So, join me next week, I hope, for the finale of Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've had fun. I very much have. This is and remains one of my favorite games. Um, it's definitely different to play it on stream like this than at leisure in my own time. But uh, still enjoyable, and I'm glad to be sharing it um, in this way. So, again, thank you for joining me. Stay well and goodbye.